I feel it's important for clinicians to familiarize themselves with the various single dose toxins that may be fatal in both infants and children. So I've created this flashcard here that summarizes all of the infant single dose toxins. We made a bit of a parody here to the original scene from Mission Impossible where we see the character drop down from the ceiling and in this case they're administering just a single dose of one of a variety of medications that can potentially be lethal in a child or infant. To begin, we start with oil of wintergreen, which is a very potent salicylate, and we talk about aspirin as well. These are drugs that can uncouple the mitochondrial oxidative phosphorylation process, causing severe acidosis, cerebral edema, pulmonary edema, seizures, and death. Clinicians should remember that each of the major classes of antihypertensives, including the alpha adrenergic agonists such as clonidine, the calcium channel blockers, and the beta blockers can all be fatal in small doses, and one must be particularly careful with calcium channel blockers and beta blockers, specifically the extended release products. For clonidine, that acts as a central alpha agonist. It can cause bradycardia, hypotension, respiratory depression, altered mental status. Regarding the beta blockers, recognize that propanolol carries the greatest toxic risk because it's lipophilic, can easily cause hypoglycemia, altered mental status, heart block, bradycardia, hypotension, and seizures. Calcium channel blockers can cause bradycardia, hypotension, and heart block. And unlike the beta blockers, with the calcium channel blockers, we're more inclined to see euglycemia or hyperglycemia. Narcotics and opiates, including heroin, fentanyl patches, and long-lasting oral narcotics can easily be found by children and overdosed by the child. Nicotine, and we're seeing an increased amount of calls to poison control centers regarding nicotine, specifically the nicotine that's found in the e-cigarette refill fluid. And in early 2015, there'd been the first reported death of a child in New York State that consumed e-cigarette fluid and then suffered a fatal nicotine poisoning. And interesting enough, eye drops such as Visine, although they cause the vasoconstriction when administered topically to the conjunctiva, if anywhere from a quarter to a half of a bottle of Visine eye drops was consumed by a child, it could cause death. The reason being is that this drug acts as an alpha agonist, but when ingested, it acts as a central acting alpha agonist, very similar to clonidine, which then causes the profound bradycardia, initially a bit of hypertension, but then followed by a profound hypotension, collapse, and death. Other classes of medications to be careful of include oral hypoglycemics for the treatment of diabetes, specifically the sulfonylureas. These can cause a lethal hypoglycemia, altered mental status, seizures, and coma. Also, tricyclic antidepressants can be very dangerous. These drugs act as sodium channel blockers and cause intraventricular conduction delay and fatal arrhythmias. We have down here quinine, which is an anti-malarial drug that causes sodium channel blockade and can lead to a widening of the QRS, potentially cause QT prolongation, and lethal cardiac arrhythmias. Quinidine, which is an antiarrhythmic drug, it also causes sodium channel blockade, causing a widening of the QRS, potential QTC prolongation, and lethal arrhythmias. I've also listed here camphor, which is a terpenoid extract from an evergreen tree that can cause nausea, vomiting, tachycardia, altered mental status, and seizures if ingested. And I've also listed here the acetylcholine esterase inhibitor drugs, which are traditionally used for the treatment of Alzheimer's, which in a child can cause a cholinergic toxidrome. And lastly, colchicine and podophylin, which are anti-gout, which is colchicine, and podophylin, which is an anti-wart medication. And they both interrupt cell mitosis by binding to tubulin. Symptoms of toxic ingestion include nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, hypotension, and with colchicine, which is an extremely toxic drug, we can see multi-systemic organ failure. Again, it's important for clinicians to familiarize themselves 
with a variety of medications and medication classes that are potent enough that a single dose would be sufficient or enough to cause the death of a child, toddler, or infant.